Hello there and thank you so much for joining me. It is great to have you with me as always. If you don't feel that you are reaching your true potential because of your own self-limiting beliefs, then make sure you stick around for this video because I've got a book that I would like to share with you that I'm currently reading that is certainly helping me with my self-limiting beliefs and I think it might help you out too. If you are new here, I'm Melanie Weber and my channel is all about helping you develop the lifestyle and the income in order to live your greatest life yet. So if that's of interest to you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, one of my goals this year has been to read at least 10 pages of a development book, something that is going to help me grow. And the latest book that I've picked up is by John C. Maxwell, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. And I'll put the details of it down below in, in the description. Now, I'm only 45 pages into this book, but I know it is going to be absolute gold. And I just wanted to share with you something that, that I've, I've learned and, and has certainly opened up my eyes. And I think you might get some value too. In chapter three of the book, John refers to this chapter as the law of the mirror. And I'm going to read this just so I don't stuff it up. And he says, you must see value in yourself to add value to yourself. So what that means is you need to see and believe that you are worthy of development in order to put the time and effort into your own personal development. And in this chapter, he talks about that the reason, one of the main reasons why people don't see that they are worthy of, or they don't have a lot of belief in themselves is due to low self-esteem. And one of the reasons why that is, is just simply because of their upbringing, that they haven't had a lot of positive reinforcement to make them believe in themselves and, and see in their own self-worth. So the great news is, is that there can certainly be something done about boosting your, your self-esteem and turning a corner and changing your self-limiting beliefs. So to help with this, John refers to the success principles written by Jack Canfield. And Jack sees this as a four step process with the number one starting off with identifying what is the self-limiting belief that you have. So for example, for you, it could be, I can't do a YouTube video as part of my marketing strategy because that's, that's a self-limiting belief I had not so long ago. Number two is moving on to identifying exactly how that self-limiting belief actually affects you and, and impacts on you personally and within your business. So in the example of the YouTube video, it could be it limits your ability to grow your audience organically. It inhibits your ability to help so many people as well as it doesn't help you improve on your presentation skills if, if that's something that you're wanting to develop. Once you've nutted that out, you then need to determine how you want to act or feel. So with the example, it could be that you want to be confident in your presentation skills. You want to help so many people and get the fulfillment from that. And you also want your business to grow. And the fourth and final step is creating a turnaround statement that gives yourself permission to act and feel what you're wanting to do. And you make sure that you repeat that statement just like any positive affirmation until that new statement is your new way, normal way of thinking. So in the YouTube example, it could be that I have a unique and powerful message that I want to share with as many people as possible because I know that it will help them too. If you have self-limiting beliefs that are preventing you from reaching your true potential, I hope these four steps are going to help you in overcoming that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have gotten benefit from it, then please do leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And until I see you on my next video, I hope you take the best of care.